Hey there, superstars. Let's draw a superstar today. We're going to start by opening this beautiful pack of 1988 Don Russ baseball cards. Here are my best candidates. Uh, Sax, Gidry, Tartable. Let's go with Louisiana Lightning. I'm not a Yankees fan, but Mr. Gidry here was pretty dang good. Pardon my French. The lefty Louisiana native was a four-time All-Star, two-time World Series champ, five-time Gold Glove winner, and won the Cy Young Award in 1978 with an incredible 25-3 record that year. He spent his entire 14-year career with the Yankees. Before that, he wrestled alligators because he's from Lafayette, Louisiana, and what else do you do in Louisiana besides wrestle alligators and eat beignets? Oh yeah, I assume he must have been in a jazz band as well, so while I'm making stuff up, let's say he played, um, the glockenspiel, but he called it a carillon because that's the French word. Monsieur Guidry played for the legendary street band Iggy McDo's Ramblin' Rascals. Not too many jazz bands employed the use of a glockenspiel in the early 70s, but it was quite a sound. The Rascals were playing a street gig one evening and a storm started up, but they were playing so well that nobody was leaving despite the rain, so the show went on. During the 12th encore, Gidry raised his mallet because he was banging away on the keys like he'd never done before, and lightning struck that mallet and surged through his left arm. After that, he found he couldn't play his glockenspiel anymore because lightning would zap out of his fingers every time they got close to the metal keys. So with his dreams of becoming the world's most famous jazz glockenspiel player crushed, he hopped on a train to New York City to find work. He happened upon this little dive called Yankee Stadium and picked up a baseball for the first time. Fred Stanley, a utility infielder, said, Throw it here, bud! Gidry threw that ball so hard, you know, because of the lightning superpowers he'd obtained, that he was quickly signed and the legend of Louisiana Lightning was born. I spend too much time coming up with these stories. Alright, let's see what we got. I need a letter opener. Christmas is coming though. Cool beans! He signed the doodle, 88 Donruss, but not the 84 tops. No problem, I'm thrilled with these. I always tell the players to keep the doodles, but I've been getting a few back, so if you are interested in purchasing this one, I've donated it to Autographs for a Cure again. So go check them out via the link below. Thanks for watching, good luck, and good night!